like as a country enough is enough okay now long distance marathon runner long distance runner athlete uh kelvin kitum passed away a while ago from a very tragic road accident he was just at the peak of his career he was gaining some recognition to his name i even remember when um he had beat uh, kipchoge's record and it was it was a thing you know like diff you know um going past kipchoge's record it was such a big deal for him as in he was finally getting some recognition because there are a lot of runners who are just running around and nobody knows about them yeah there are so many talented sports people who are doing their best and nobody knows about him and finally when his star is shining the brightest he has a you know a car accident and it was very unfortunate to be honest but the things that came out after the the accident just had us cringing as a society and these are the things we're usually scared about when we see a very talented and somebody who's for, for lack of a better term made it when they pass away the things that come out are just very cringe first of all the fact that he passed away in a car that had another woman inside of it. so now people are like okay so you were cheating on your girlfriend you were cheating on your baby mama wife what was that all about the fact that people started you know popping up saying that they had the, you know uh, his child they were his family it was also very embarrassing on top of that the state make made a very big deal about Kel, uh, kelvin's death to the point where they actually built a house for his widow the one they chose to recognize because there were two women who were out here saying that's my man and there was a girl who died with him in the car you know but the state chose to recognize one and say this was his widow they have children together and the state built a house in record breaking time before even the burial i think it was in the space of two weeks they built this babe a huge mansion and they made promises to build a mansion also for for the parents of kelvin which they also um which they they never fulfilled and this is the story we're talking about now it would seem that the parents of kelvin kiptum are coming out and saying hey y'all promised us a lot you guys said that you're going to build a house for us you're going to be, do all these things for us but anytime we talk about our problems we are shut down we're not gotten back to no one is responding and they're saying if our son was alive and he got to see the way we are suffering he would rise from his grave and be very disappointed but also at the same time i'm just like your son the millionaire when he was alive what did he do for you you know and i know it sounds like i'm being very cruel and i'm being very uh you know you're you, you, you're having a bad tone about this but when he was alive why did he not get you out of this situation why are you making the the burden of expectation somebody else's problem why are you blaming the state for the fact that you are unable to harvest crops from your shamba because you do not have the technical know-how or the equipment or just the funds to harvest from your shamba why are you blaming the state because of the fact that you don't have a functional functioning indoor uh toilet in your house why are you blaming the state because you cook in a kitchen that you know is raining when when it's raining outside it's also raining inside of your kitchen and you're very sad about it why are you blaming everybody else when your son the millionaire was alive did he not see you suffering did he not feel the need to like help you out why are you making this our problem why are we talking about this is my <coughs> question and yes it sounds horrible but it's also kind of true because what going what are we supposed to do it is a very sad situation it's a very unfair situation when you see the 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 dependence of a very successful person suffering after the demise but at the same time sasi to do because everybody has their problems everybody is dealing with somebody so to to complain and say we are suffering our son would be so disappointed what do we do I, I just i just don't know babes i just don't know i think there's a thing called black tax and it's becoming a very ableist um stance when it comes to parents and i think it's time for us to have a conversation about black tax mm -hmm. because first of all <clears throat> no offense this man worked hard for you to be even trained to compete for your team for your national team 
It takes money, it takes effort, it takes all of these things. Mm -hmm. And he worked hard, broke barriers, and even went and ran for our country. And we're very proud of him, right? But at the same time, does that mean that simply because he worked hard and strived that somehow he owes anything to his parents? I feel like th we need to stop doing this. Like, as parents, can you... I get it. Life was hard. I get it. Times are hard. But is it fair for you now to have all your hopes and dreams have to be fulfilled by your children who have worked hard to make it? I think a child can give a token of appreciation. I think a child can be very open to help you out where they can. But they don't owe you anything. Like you're, they're, you're not their bank account that they're not your bank account, sorry, that you can just withdraw money whenever you want to. And we've seen this happening quite a bit because even the Goliath guy, remember? Mm -hmm. He's just doing what he needs to do. He's trying to capitalize on his fame. And his mother is over there saying, oh, Konza, I'm totoaki, I'm not. I'm just like, but where were you? For, for all these things to happen, where were you? Where have you been? I think parents and all these other people who feel entitled to whatever assets and hard work that you've done unless they were part of that evolution their parents who are very supportive their parents who really come through for their children and i think those are parents who are not then looking at you saying aya to look like a shule sasa to me pie aya to look funny and in this is a a parent is supposed to be there to guide you through life not to become a burden to you when they grow old so parents do better even us as millennials as we are becoming parents can we do so well that our children are not having to take care of us in our old age, that we make enough money, that our children are not having to pay black tax to us. They are giving us tokens of appreciation, but they are not having to pay through our lives until the time. Maka, you're like, okay, yeah, I get it. If someone says, ah, and we hear these stories and it's sad that, ah, eh, they died, ah, but at least. For your child, you to die, and your child is like, eh, but at least if you, imeni punguzia budget. Mm. It's sad. Do better as a parent so that your children don't have the burden of taking care of you. I, I'm, with them. I'm tired of this black tax nonsense.